Hi friends! So today is the last day of Vlogmas. Thank you so much to those of you who have watched all of my videos this whole month and to any new subscribers, thank you so much for joining this channel. So today is Christmas Day here in Malaysia and Esme and I had a lovely brunch with some friends over at this beautiful hotel. We had a big siesta afternoon. Uh, Esme slept while I sort of tidied up and got everything ready for dinner tonight. And tonight we're having our neighbors over and we're having a fish chowder and some wine and some fresh bread and basically just having a lovely cozy evening at home. And I was just sitting here reminiscing of Christmas has gone by and I thought what I would share with you today is some of my favorite Christmas memories. And I was thinking maybe I would share with you like one particular Christmas memory that was like the top. But the reality is, is that for me, Christmas is like a series of events, a series of emotions, a series of delicious foods, smells, flavors, textures that I've experienced over the years that have made me who I am today and made me love Christmas. And I'm not a big one of celebrating holidays. I don't go all out on Valentine's Day or anything, but there's something really special about Christmas. And as a kid, my parents were divorced, and so Christmas Eve was really special, and we would spend that time with my dad and my family. And then Christmas Day, we would spend that with my mom and my mom's side of the family. And each was unique in its own way, but there was something so special about opening a present on Christmas Eve by the light of the tree and just getting all excited about the anticipation of Santa coming and knowing that that night when we went to bed and we'd wake up in the morning, Santa would be there. And there's this one picture, and I wish I had it to share with you guys, but it's so funny. I'm probably about like between five and seven, the questionable age. I was really tall, so it's hard to tell. But I have this look on my face and I'm on the phone with my mom because we were with my dad that Christmas. And I'm calling my mom to tell her that Santa had been to the house. And she said, how did you know? And I was like, mom, there was carrots on the ground. So we would always leave cookies for Santa and carrots for the reindeer. And there was like carrot bits on the ground leading up to the patio door with, where obviously, you know, the reindeer had come in with Santa to help him deposit the gifts under the tree and then leave. And then there was this sweater and nobody knew how this sweater had got under the tree for my dad. And it was totally played up and it was absolutely amazing. And you know, I know that there's like a lot of like hullabaloo about, oh, do your kids believe in Santa? But I think it's just a really fun, enjoyable experience that children have when they can believe in something so wholeheartedly that everything they just believe in and there's that picture and I'll never forget that moment and you know I'm wearing my Christmas jammies that my grandma had got me the night before and I'm just like oh my god you know another memory that I have would be pulling up to my grandpa like my mom's dad so pulling up to their house and we would always go like Christmas day either late afternoon or you know once we've kind of had the chaos of our Christmas opening and our big breakfast at home we would then make our way over to the grandparents and pulling up to their house and they had these huge hedges that like surrounded the house covered in snow with these colorful lights peeking out and I could hear the Christmas music and just feel the warmth and the glow of the house. So you'd open the door and you would smell like roast beef cooking and you could smell the eggnog in the air, which at the time I didn't love, but let me tell you, I have acquired a taste for it. Um, and singing, so my mom's family is Welsh and they all can sing absolutely amazing. I don't know if it's like a Welsh thing, but they're all amazing singers. And I just remember like, you know, the the singing and the and the you know the alcohol, I mean not in a bad way, but just like the the festivity of the season. And people just really getting into the Christmas spirit and somebody would be my cousin usually would be playing the piano, like my cousin David, this would be like a long time ago. He's grown up now with his own family. Um but yeah, just like a really special memory and just eating to your heart's content and sometimes my brother and I would like fall asleep there and then you know you'd wake up and you'd be like how did I get in my snowsuit and like how am I halfway up the stairs to bed <laughs> so I have really fond memories of eating things like tortier which is like a meat pie um, I think it's just origin is Quebec it's like a very Quebecer thing um, eating bouche de noel which is like the Christmas log cake and turkey of course abundance of turkey and stuffing and gravy and just just feeling like so full of love and so full of warmth and you know those funny memories as a kid when you go and like obviously my brother and I like this is before my sister was born but 
like we didn't have any money to be buying presents so we would like go around the house and find little things and like wrap them up for mom they'd probably be her things and we would wrap them up and give them to her and the one thing that was so amazing is that mom would always act surprised and so happy to receive these gifts and i think that's so important because christmas isn't about how much money that you spend in the reality like i never remember gifts that i got it's not like oh yeah that christmas i got that it's always the people that you surround yourself with and the love that you're feeling and just like all those happy emotions i get very emotional just even thinking about it the funny thing is that i'm tearing up right now is that i said to myself today oh my god this is the first christmas that i didn't cry I'm trying not to cry <laughs> I always cry at Christmas. What is the deal? But I guess I get emotional because I am far from my family and I miss them. And I just want to hug them all. So if they're watching, I love you guys. <laughs> and I just saw you three weeks ago, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> is there anybody else that cries at Christmas? Like, what is the deal? <laughs> Probably doesn't help that I'm eight months pregnant. But anyways. For some reason, the holidays get the holidays me, they get to me in, in a really good way. And I get overwhelmed with emotion with how much I just love people. And those people are my friends and my family and my babies and my husband. And just, you know, like tell the people then in your life that you love them. If you didn't buy them a gift, you know what? It doesn't matter because people never remember that stuff anyways. I'll leave the video on that note. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and of course a Happy New Year. And I will see you very soon but all I would say is today, just enjoy it. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends. I will speak to you soon. Bye.